now. Let's see what we can find. Uh, okay, as I promised now. As I promised now. We need, we need from last and now like can I do this? do this for now. Alright, let's do this. Leroy! Hi everyone, it's almost ready. Who would you like to bring from the Heron tribe? Yeah, if you can pick three and... Yes. If you pick one, you can choose Raphael. Is it Raisin or Leanna? Well, I'm just gonna do that. Raphael, would you, would you join us? Of course, I'm honored. All right, Tom Guidance, here we come. It's so quiet. It's the ghost here. Uh huh. She's at the top. Be careful, everyone. This tower's ashes is home territory. She's certainly to have her most powerful, powerful troops waiting for us up ahead. We must proceed with um, the utmost caution. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. What? So, you were companion to the very first Empress Latina. I am honored that you have chosen to speak with me. You would trust in the word of a stranger. Yes. I can see inside you. I know you cannot speak lies. Is it possible? Do you share some aspect of my power? I do, as did my mother. Generation after generation, each apostle has been blessed to hear the voice of the goddess. We know of impending disasters, how crops will fare. All revelations originally intended for you. The children of my union with Altina. I had no idea. Please, look at this. All of the apostles have borne this brand. It is our greatest secret. The senators must never know. Because of this brand, I thought that I had been born of some great sin. It plagued me always. Guilt tore at me every day as I hid my mark from my people, deceiving them constantly about my true nature. Oh, child, how can I apologize to you? And yet now that I've met you, I understand. There is no shame in my heritage. None at all. I will not live in hiding. 
I will reveal to the world that I am one of the branded. They must see there is no shame in who I am. No, you mustn't. You don't understand the danger you will be placing yourself in. Oh, but I do. The senators will do their utmost to rally the people against me, as they did when I freed the lagoons from slavery. But I will not be deterred. If I am to lead this nation, I cannot allow it to be corrupted by prejudice and hatred. I can put the life the goddess has given me to no greater good than this. Such determination. Your eyes, they very much resemble Altina's. I will stand before my people and proudly proclaim the truth. And then, I will guide them to a just and honest future. This is my promise to you. Thank you. Your strength of will, the truth that guides your life. You have shown me the way back to myself. I shall return to Gogoa and tell my friends of you and your actions. I will tell them that Laguz and Bjork may once again live together in peace. I will tell them that there is hope. Thank you, father of my mothers. I strive to be worthy of the gift of life you have granted me. What? What was that? Someone's... Was it someone's memory? Was it? it? Sorry. Oh, hey. Don't worry, that was nothing. Alright then, our path leads through the that door there. Oh my god. You have an awesome, do you? Well, uh, Hostel Sonic, what well, a surprise seating you here. Frankly, uh, I'm at me, is that you? Of all people in the world, would dare to set foot inside the most, most holy tower of guidance. The king, we've been looking for you here for a long time. You bound Dan into your awful pact, held in the noble king and king, king place, and stole countless lips in your. The appalling war. You are beyond redemption. Beyond redemption? My, uh, that uh, uh, sounds very dreadful. Whatever uh, will you do with me? Oh no, let me uh, let me remind you. Uh, the blood pact is still in, in still in effect. You will do well uh, to remember that. I think you you know that. Uh, what will I uh, have to uh, people say that if you should uh, dare oppose me? Enough. We fear you, you, you your friends uh, no longer, no more will be bow, uh, bow to your any, every whim. Now, that we found you, we will accept just, uh, justice upon you. The destroyed blood pact itself, ending its power all over us. So you figured it out, did you? <laughs> found us not. Uh, this changes is uh, nothing, do you hear me? Here's the score for uh, what you uh, you Searching uh, so del diligently, right here in my hands. <laughs> and yet, none of you will, will, will ever, ever lay uh, 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 one grim, grim, grim little finger upon it. I have been blessed by the goddess that herself, her protection will not allow you, to, allow you fleas to even approach me. The king sees this uh, tra travesty, you know, her tra her to at once. Well, what have we here? Oh yes, the apostle. Excuse me, child. But I com uh, completely have forgotten you were here. Since you've been uh, uh, die, dying to, uh, to grieve for us with uh, your you're exalt exalted presence, uh, dear apostle, let me uh, share a bedtime story with you. Uh oh. The year was three six hundred six hundred and forty. Uh, if anyone ever. Uh, the Empire had, had, had been total without him in, in the past 15 long years. The Senators were, were being uh, constantly uh, harassed uh, with complaint, uh, complaints from the Apostle. There uh, had been nothing like in history. The boys who call him a claim for young father's young son key to be rather they grew louder every day. And just returned five years old to when the Senator welcomed uh, you to the, the throne as uh, the new Apostle. Uh, but my youngest and Mr. Sonki, what a difficult child you were. You threw a tantra, tantra, 
tantrums. You screamed and uh, cried uh, constantly. Your conduct uh, was uh, hardly a befitted, befitting and impress of Benyon. Everyone was uh, at, law, at a loss. You wouldn't even stop mill, milling and crying and during official, official proceedings. But then along came an hour the youngest senator ever lived in Duke of Paris the Princess. When he took you in his arms, you immediately stopped crying. You even smiled. We had to take advantage of this obvious miracle. And I am unprecedented to move by the senators that we elevated the effort to M. Prime Minister Kim. Prime Minister keeping him, him serving as close to you as possible. This plan were radical. I thought it was proved far more effective than we dare dream. A young, handsome Prime Minister and an adorable Omar Muppet of an impossible bra hub of the people's support to an incredible new height. Apparently, the common citizen in our green is a gullible, gullible enough to build a blinding of fault for any, for any leader who is as sophisticated and efficiently attractive. And no more reporter as they are, they were. No one ever says to, to care whether, whether or not, or not you, you, you could hear, hear the, the voice of the gods. With a new apostle and a prime minister, the political land, landscape became unrecognizable. Even in the face of all over, overtly unreasonable legi legislation, two of you would stand on the balcony. A small uh, and a wave later, the apostle would uh, cheer and go on with uh, their happy lives. It was too long to be, uh, to be true, however. Both of you were only meant to be puppets. Each year, each year you, uh, you, you uh, interfered uh, with, uh, with our government. More and more, imposing your uh, soft harder than deals with over our sovereign rights for such uh, trivia, uh, trivialities as Lugu's slavery and the Dayan occupation were worthy of make, making issues as of. The part of you are become, becoming uh, increasingly bothersome, thrown in our side, and then this war against the Lugu's forces. You went so far for us to expose our previous industry questions and demand hand preparation preparations uh, for the subhumans. This was unforgive unfor unforgivable. Clearly you both uh, had to be removed separate and would be false falsely accused and jailed in uh, a necessity hating his removal from office. The apostle to it would suffer a sudden illness and be excused from uh, Official proceedings, or so we intended. Uh, then me, Flashman. On top of this, quite extraordinary plans of a great man. Here you are, standing before my ear, uh, my very eyes. You said I had to be freed. You are just waiting for me for your chance to kill us, just as you killed my grandmother. Out of respect, however, for the mute, a minute tently decreased. I'll be completely honest, yes, you, you assumed correctly. Your assassination of the enemy of the plot of the to one, 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 and again frame this serenity's her her from the first was certainly a my deal. A deal. A deal. Yes, I, I thought it was much. Impressive, Sonaki. When you were first to cry, I you who would have cried to you. Your little eyes out, you groaned slightly. Uh. The King, Duke of Gatos! Before the blue 37 and Primpress of Aeon prepare to be judged! An assuming game, child, truly? But you must know that, uh, that there is nothing to you that you can do against me. I am the greatest uh, servant of the uh, all knowledge, uh, uh, almighty Aldra, and her, uh, I am her chosen champion. And you, Sonic, are a pathetic wretch. Milling, milling behind our pack of the hangers, Aldra's judgment is upon you. You will not live to be turned stone. You will die here as flesh and blood. Wow. Did not see how I'm gonna do this. Never gonna teach next part here. Oh,
for God's sake, please, until then, goodbye.